Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Super Lunch Bros Clips. Um, this is a little piece of our podcast from earlier this weekend. Um, in this part, we cover uh, Alexander uh, Romanov versus Juan Espino. Uh, there was a foul that caused like an ending sequence uh, and caused the fight to get uh, stopped early. And we kind of go into a discussion. <coughs> a discussion. We kind of go into a discussion about how uh, fouls should be treated in MMA going forward. Um, yeah, if you like what you're seeing here, go back and watch the whole podcast. Um, you know, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments. Uh, let me know. So, all right. I hope you enjoy. Um, all right. So we got the prelims. We'll run through these real quick. We got Alexander Romanov uh, versus Juan Espino. Actually, we're not going to run through this really quick. We're going to talk about this damn fight. So <laughs> Romanov is like, like uh, he's 14 and 0 at he- and he's a heavyweight. So he's this giant weight, heavyweight who cuts weight, and he's a little chunky, but you know he's very athletic, moves quickly, he's got big takedowns, great wrestling, and he's very strong. Um, or sorry, he hits very hard. So <clears throat> he was taking Espino down, and then there was like a reversal, and Espino actually got two takedowns in the first round. Second round, they go back and forth again. And in the third round, a minute <sighs> in, Ooh. <laughs> like... Uh, they're up against the they're up against the fence, and Espino knees him and knees Romanov in the nuts. Yep. Romanov goes down on his back, and he doesn't speak English very well, so they're translating it and stuff. And he takes four minutes, and it's decided that he can't move his legs, therefore he's not fighting anymore. I. I don't think it was unfair. We're going to talk about something that happened in Triller um, oh, in a little yeah. in a little bit here. Bad but um, I, like there was some there was a fight that happened in Triller. I we can I'll just we we'll talk about it in a minute. That was way worse. Um, I don't think he was acting. I think he really did get hurt. And for those of you guys who have been hit in the nuts, add on top of that complete exhaustion. Right. So you're completely exhausted. You know, all your adrenaline just immediately gets zapped from you. And now you feel like your testicles are in your throat. Right. If you could. And also, if for those of you guys who know, when you like stretch out and stand up again, it feels like getting hit in the nuts a second time. That's why you see these guys drop down and, you know, like bounce and like kind of squat down and try to slam their legs down. Yeah. So, trust me, I've had a vasectomy. I am very intimate with <laughs> testicle pain. So there's, uh, there's, um, there's something to be said for like what actually like I think he actually did get hurt. Uh, I, I, I like, I don't know. I'm not at a loss for words. I just have a lot of words I want to say. There's, it's an unfortunate way for a fight to end. Well, I thought it was stupid. Yeah, that's why I was trying to like, uh emphasize the fact that I do think he was legitimately hurt. Despite that, I think it's a stupid way to end a fight because I would just call this a no contest. Like, yeah. there's no reason to, like, add up the last minute of the third round and go score the entire fight and then be like, oh, that third round went on for one, or that the last round went on for one minute, therefore we can grade the whole fight. Like, it's so dumb. Just call it a no contest. It's super easy. It doesn't hurt either fighter. Like... Well, let's talk. All right, let's talk about this in point. comparison to the Aljamain Sterling fight. Yeah. So why this a no contest and that one? No, this one wasn't. Wouldn't have been a no contest. So that's oh. what I'm saying. Like, no. Uh, hold, so hold on. Sorry, I said that wrong. If you're trying to compare it, that means that Espino should have been. He should have been. Uh, penalized and the fight taken away from him because he broke the he broke the rule and the other fighter couldn't continue right where because that's not what happened what happened was they stopped the fight mm-hmm. it tech it's called a technical decision it also happened in the Askren fight we'll talk about that um it's called a technical decision where one fighter can no longer continue due to some sort of like medical issue or like a you know the referee saying that one fighter is unable to continue and it's not technically a TKO or a submission or anything like that. So in this case, 
this deci- it went to a decision. The first two rounds had been completed, and like I said, a minute of the third round had, com- had been completed. And they scored those first two rounds, obviously. And then the judges then scored the first minute of that third round. And based off of those scorecards, they gave us they gave us uh, a decision. All right. So if that decision had gone the other way, would that does that make sense? Like it just seems like a weird way to end a fight through a technical decision based on a stoppage for an illegal strike. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, what I'm like, saying. Either call that, it a no contest, call it a no contest, or call it a foul and give the other guy the win. Because if Espinos had dominated the first two rounds and then just fucking absolute nut slam Romanoff and ended the fight there and it was a technical decision, Espino won, that's a weird incentive. Oh, yeah, sweet. I just, if I do an illegal strike, I just have to do it so hard the first time that it ends the fight. If I'm winning and I just want to call it quits. Right. If you have a team, right, that's dirty, let's call hey. them, I don't know, Yoel Romero's team. Anyway. Um... <laughs> He's not in the UFC, so it doesn't matter anymore. So let's say you have a team that's, you know, less than outstanding uh, ethically. Okay. You know, I, I, they all play the game. All the fighters and all the teams play the game. There's, you know, there's, it's called meta game when there's, you know, they're playing with each other's emotions and doing things that are kind of skirting the rules and blah, 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 blah. But let's say that these people are so morally uh, bankrupt that they're willing to just like do the absolute worst thing because you know they are they understand that this is how the rules work. This being like this being an example, if your team is fluent in the rules and regulations of the commission that you're fighting in, and in a way where they know that if you won the first two rounds, like or sorry, uh, if in a three round fight the fight has to go to the third round. And then as long as a certain amount of time in the third round has transpired and it's uh, ended due to an injury or a foul, then it's graded on those first two rounds and then the third round, right? If your team knows that they could just go out there and be like, yeah, just throw late, like throw knees in the clinch and hit him in the nuts. And you could, you could get an easy win like that. So don't be afraid to hit him in the nuts. Like yeah. that's really shitty. And that's what I was saying. Like just and make it a no contest. You- and especially in a heavyweight fight where that risk of getting knocked out in the third round is real. And if you're yeah. starting to gas, it's like, well, I don't want to get, you know, I don't want someone to Rosen stroke me. So I better fucking just put this. But it's just it creates a weird incentive system that does not make sense. Whatsoever. Yeah. Like you just spam, you know, uh, uh, spam crane kicks <laughs> or t- like, you know, or just even, spam. Even if it was an eye poke. All right. Say it was an eye poke. Is this any different? Like, if he got Mitri owned, and it yeah. was just the first eye poke caused it to swell up to the point where he couldn't continue, would it go to a technical decision? And could he lose based on like? Well, that's the a- thing. What happened with Mitri owned is he got poked in the eye and then punched in the eye. Yeah. So, like, technically, the reason why it blew up to begin with is because he got poked, not because he got punched. The punches just made it worse. But the fight didn't get stopped when he got po- poked. So, like. What happens now if here, here's a great to this point, to your point, right? Let's say the fight continues and then Espino lands a shot to the gut where he, where Romanov feels weak because his nuts were just there, right? Like he already has a compromised, uh, like, uh, a compromised stomach just because of like the way things transpired. And he goes down because of that. That was not an illegal strike and he could win the fight that way. And it it happened because he broke the rules. So that's what I'm saying. This shouldn't have been, oh, let's go to the scorecards. That's stupid. It's dumb. Always dumb. Yeah. Terrible. I hate it. Either either call it a no contest or the guy who made a foul, the guy who made a foul, it, it, it gets DQ'd. Yeah. It's, oh. either a, it's either an egregious enough foul to where it's a DQ or... It appears to have been incidental to the point where you just call it a no contest so that neither fighter gets penalized for it. But there's one other way I could maybe see this going, but this is, I, I like this less. Um, the way Bisping brought it up, now it re- just reminded me. You take a point from the guy who committed a foul and then you go to the decision. Did he get a point taken before the score? Nope. 
All right, that's some absolute bullshit. That's what I I'm forgot. saying. So, like, that's what I'm saying. So, in that scenario, right, let's say if Espino won those first two rounds and Alexander was winning the third round and then that happened and then Espino gets penalized one extra point, we're at a draw anyway. <laughs> so, like, there, I like this that is less, why This is why fouls need to be an acceptable. automatic point. Yeah, I'm, I'm. The more I see them, the more I'm leaning towards it. It's I, yeah. I'm sick of I, I'm sick of trying to discern um, intent. I'm sick of trying to discern the effect on the fighter. Fuck right. all that. Like it should be every two time you follow, it it's be a an point. Automatic video review and an automatic point. Yes, and Vegas now allows review and the fight to continue. Yeah. So there's no reason not to do it. Yeah, it should. Anytime there's a foul that stops the action or any time a foul that is observed by the ref, it should be automatic video review, automatic point. Yeah. That, you know it, what about it. Show the review. Like, yeah. let's say someone gets hit, like hit below the belt, right? You review it. You find out, oh, it was actually a clean strike. The fight continues after the review time. The review can be popped up like this. Yeah. You know, it takes 10 seconds to pull that up. They do it all the time. Referee checks it out. Hey, dude, you got hit in the stomach. Uh, I know it might have felt like it. Or even a better a better example is like, oh, I got poked in the eye. They review it. It turns out it was a knuckle. Knuckles are not illegal. Continue the fight, man. I'm sorry. I gave you. I mean, you got an extra 10 second break, but you got to go right now. Yep. If you can't continue, the fight's over. You know, like you were not poked in the eye. And then vi- on the other side of that, like you just said, if you see that a foul was committed, boom, automatic point. And then, then you give that person the five minutes and let them decide whether or not they want to continue. Yep. But those. I'm sick of this intent bullshit because intent is irrelevant when the effect on the person is the same. If I intend to kick you in the nuts or to accidentally kick you in the nuts and they both give you the same amount of pain and they affect the same, the fight the same amount of way, intent is irrelevant. Yeah. If I blind you in one and eye, it, intent is it irrelevant. Sets, and it sets precedent for other fighters. It, yeah, because it, now you can mask your intent. Like, oh, I was trying to measure distance and I accidentally poked him in the brain. But yeah, that's a... I'm definitely more on the side of just automatic point at this point. But, yeah, it should just be – this is why I hate – I don't want to go into it. Athletic commissions are fucking stupid. Absolutely yes. asinine organizations. But across the board in the UFC, hell, Bellator, every other organization, it should just be an automatic review, automatic point. Yeah, there's no for, reason not to it, do it. Force fighters to actually train to not do illegal strikes. Yeah, they don't like uh, very rarely do we see someone knee someone in the head. I mean, it's happened recently a couple times. Actually, it happened once. Um, what's his we just what was his name? Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy did not knee that guy in the head. He put his hand up and defended the knee. That's not a landed strike. And like I said, yeah. intent is irrelevant. If I don't land a strike, even though it was if the intent was an illegal strike and I don't land it, then it doesn't matter. Yeah. I didn't affect if you. Try, you. If you try and poke someone on the eye and miss, it's yeah. Not an eye poke. I, I was literally about to say <laughs> if I was going to three stooge you and I just ran across and went like me 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 and like ran across the octagon with my two fingers out and nothing happened of it and I never touched your eyes. I mean, technically, you're not supposed to extend your fingers, so I could get a warning for that. Yeah. But it, it, intent is irrelevant. I did no damage, therefore I didn't break. Like I, I did, it was not an illegal strike. So I would say after like, the. After the warning, if you blatantly are trying to eye poke someone, then you can the yeah. rough preemptive point on that. Like that, <laughs> hey, for hey, that Mo, example, knock it off. If, if you go for the three stooges after the warning, then yeah, <laughs> we'll, we can start talking about points getting taken away then. They but should. I think in terms of when it's landed, regardless of intent, it should be automatic review. Automatic. Yep. Yeah, I'm down with it. 